Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching my last vlog and today for watching this one as well. Um, there's been a few comments and questions and one of the comments was asking about whether I could share about some of my songwriting process. So this vlog is mainly about worship, worship leading, leading teams and songwriting, that sort of thing. So I am very, very happy to talk about songwriting. I could talk about it for a long, long time. Um, but let me tell you a, a, a bit about my, my background. I started writing at the age of 16 and I wrote a song. My first ever song was written in a church context and I played it live soon after I wrote it in our youth group and it seemed to go down really, really well and people seemed to like it and we used it loads. And um, after that I thought, well, songwriting is just so, so easy and how wrong I was. I, I kept on writing and I shared a couple more of those songs in the same context and they seemed to not go down so well. And eventually I kept writing and the more I wrote, the worse I seemed to get. And, and it was like, what is going on? What's wrong with me? Why, why is this so hard going? And I wish that someone had told me what I'm about to tell you at that age. And that was to just keep going. Apparently, according to Simon Cowell, I think it was, it said, he said something like, you don't write a good song until you've written something like 50 songs. And that can sound really, really discouraging. But actually, I think what he's trying to get at is, I don't know whether this is true or not, but I think he's trying to get at that actually it's about practicing and developing the art of writing and just having a go and just trying to complete stuff and just churning material out until you get to a stage where you evaluate your material better and you learn to kind of get to a place where actually you know your strengths and your weaknesses in the writing process and maybe pull other people in to be able to help you in some way with that. So these are, here are a few things that I find really useful for me when I prepare to songwrite. The first thing is place, location. Um, I'm actually in a room where I do a lot of writing right now so I thought it was the best place probably to film this video. Um, I use this room because it's in my home. Um, it's a place where I keep musical instruments and I've got a desk here where I, I generally sit at to write and the reason why I use a desk is because I can just sprawl everything out everywhere and I can sit comfortably with the guitar and I like this room because it's away from the, the rest of the house it's not so noisy and it's easy to kind of get myself shut away and feel really comfortable and I think comfort is a really important thing where you feel free to be able to create and put yourself in the position where you're going somewhere on a journey you've never ever been before and so you need to feel some sort of feeling of comfort and yeah I, I can do this in this place I can really explore and be creative and, and be me in this place. The other place I, I really like to sit is at a keyboard downstairs um, in our lounge and just sit and bash out loads of melody ideas especially if I'm struggling on the guitar or I'm just going through the same motions of the same kind of chord patterns or progressions or parts um, sitting by a keyboard and just trying a different instrument is really helpful and honestly I can't really play it I'm just bashing out a few chords and just lines that I think might work and that has massively massively helped me so location is really good the second thing is um, finding things to capture devices to capture things on so I use my phone um, to capture anything melodic so whether it's a little idea I have while I'm walking around town or whether it's kind of like a half decent idea on the guitar that I've been working on for 20 minutes I capture everything melodic on my phone and then I send it straight away to my email address so that I've got two places where it's stored so if it's <laughs> if my phone gets lost or if I, I delete it accidentally I've got it in two places and then I label it and put it in a folder on my laptop um, and then go then I can go back to it if it's not in that folder I don't bother because I haven't made the effort to kind of review it and and that kind of gets me in the discipline of recording stuff and, and labeling it and putting it into a, a place to go back to and, and listen to. And the other thing I, I use is, is this little brown book. Uh, whereas I love to put stuff on my phone for melody, I love to put lyrics um, in this. And as you can see, like this is just one song example. Most of it's crossed out, um, but I... I like to write in this because it helps me to kind of shape ideas, it helps me to cross things out but to still see it so I can go back to it and it's just a different 
I find the more ways I, I can write, the better, because it just helps me kind of in a different process to, to create something fresh. So there are two ways I capture things, um, but different people use different things, so that's what works for me. Um, the third thing that I find really useful is actually to kind of set goals myself, but also to not put pressure on myself. So I work well with goals, but I don't work so well under pressure. So um, I set myself a goal at the beginning of 2016 to write every day for three months. And um, that could be anything. So the, the pressurized part was that I had to write. The non-pressurized part was that I didn't have to write in any way. So it didn't have to be a whole day. I didn't have to create a whole song. I just had to create something that day or amend something that was to do with songwriting. And that was really, really libera liberating because I was actually able to create far more than what I realized. Um, um, but in a, a kind of goal and structure that could ha actually help me. Um, I guess, like, to finish off, I just encourage you to find as many different ways to be creative, to explore creativity, to not evaluate too quickly, but to actually have a go and find something. There are times when I write and it's evaluating songwriting. In other words, I've written a song and I'm going back to it to really you know, like pull it apart and see whether it's really got the legs to, to go the distance. There's other times when I'm writing from scratch and I really don't want to be in that kind of evaluation mode. I just want to create. Um, and I think if you get evaluation and creativity too close together, what can happen is sometimes you get too discouraged too quickly. So if you're going to have a creative slot, make it creative and don't worry. Just write anything. Just make sure you've written something. Um, but with the evaluation, you don't want to worry too much about the creativity side. You want to really like, OK, as a scientist, how am I going to analyze this and how am I going to make this better and fine tune this and make this into something that's really quality? So that's some of my process. I love to watch films, I love to read books, I love to put myself in different places. So I went to a cathedral recently to just write in a different place and it helped me write on a different theme and um, so new locations, new inspiration, bands, watching bands, listening to new music, um, soundtracks, li listening to different types of music, all that sort of stuff really massively helps me um, and it, I just encourage you to do all of that really. So hope you've enjoyed this, hope it's helpful. Uh, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment box below. Um, if you'd like me to talk about something else to do with worship leading or music, then get in touch and leave a comment and I'll see if I can talk about it next time.